Tonight, can the U.S. head off a new recession? The chairman of the Fed says it's up to Congress. Congress says it's up to him. Given the political realities, Mr. Chairman, I'm afraid the Fed is the only game in town. Anthony Mason on the threats to the recovery. Desperate measures for ranchers and farmers struggling with the drought of 2012. Anna Werner looks at what will happen to food prices. A big advance in the battle against Alzheimer's disease. Dr. John LaPook on a new drug that may slow mental decline. And the man who saved a nation, honoring Nelson Mandela as he turns 94. Mark Phillips is there. This is the CBS Evening News with Scott Pelley. Good evening. This is the worst economic recovery America has ever had. We've been looking for hopeful signs, but today, the chairman of the Federal Reserve threw a cold splash of reality on those hopes. Ben Bernanke said any improvement in unemployment will, quote, likely be frustratingly slow. Well, yes to say the least. But for the moment, Bernanke is holding his fire, waiting to see whether hiring starts to pick up again or whether, in his words, we are stuck in the mud. Now, there are some hopeful signs. Gasoline prices are, are low. Interest rates are rock bottom. That's Inflation right. is almost non-existent. What more can the Fed do? The Fed can do what it's done in the past, which is to buy up Treasury bills, mortgage-backed securities, the effect of that is to push down interest rates. That stimulates borrowing, spending. The problem is we already have interest rates near historic lows, at historic lows, and the economy is barely moving. Anthony, thanks very much. There is a new threat to the shaky recovery, and it's this record-breaking drought we have. Temperatures hit the 90s and 100s today in the Midwest and the East. The worst drought since the 1950s has pushed the price of corn up 38 percent since last month. Wheat is up 29 percent. But Anna Werner found that's not all that will be costing more. She's down on the ranch in Texas tonight. Jim Selman's family. An experimental drug may stop the progression of Alzheimer's disease. South Africans honor Nelson Mandela. And the president gets a second chance at love when the CBS Evening News continues. Where's Alvin? Alvin and the Chipmunks are back. Back with my tail, back and forth, back with my tail, back and forth. And this time, they're about to go overboard. Ready, go! Now, I'm going to kill you! In the voices of your favorite stars. We're kind of world famous. It's been two days since my last bath, and I am a mess. Oh, I can't get rescued looking like this. <laughs> Alvin and the Chipmunks, Chipwrecked. Rinse it now on Foxtel On Demand. There's a glimmer of hope in medical research tonight about a drug that appears to stop the progression of Alzheimer's disease in some patients. The results are preliminary and the study is small, but we wanted to know more, so we asked Dr. John LaPou. And now we have new tests, for example, special brain scans we talked about last month here that can pick up those changes. So there are a bunch of trials now to identify patients at very high risk of developing Alzheimer's. They haven't yet gotten the symptoms give the medication and see maybe if giving the medication earlier rather than later is more effective. Thank you, doctor. For more information on this treatment, go to our partner in health news, webmd.com, and search Alzheimer's. Now, a story of presidential redemption. President and Mrs. Obama went to a... He taught a witch how to twitch, remembering a legendary television director next. On the camera, you can see that. Guys, what is that? Andrew's making the head sound. We're going to talk. What? What am I looking at? I can't hear you. We have to document this. Are you guys ready? Oh my god! Give me a countdown. I will. I promise. Oh, snap. Crap. This is my theory, though, is that it's like a muscle. Why I think we're getting stronger, you know? What you looking at, girl? Stay in school. Awesome. Go around. Oh, that's just some redneck. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, what the hell did you just do? We need to 
need rules. No using it on living things. You can't use it when you're angry. I don't think we should be using it in public. That's it. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is back home tonight, which is rare for her. Early today, she returned from a 13-day, nine-country trip that covered 27,000 miles. And have a look at this. Since becoming Secretary of State in 2009, she has spent 352 days on the road and traveled to 102 countries. South Africa throws a birthday party for Nelson Mandela. We'll take you there next. How was your trip? Tell us everything. Oh, okay. okay. It was incredible. Did you have sex with anyone? I don't know that. I'm getting married. From the writer of Death at a Funeral. We're right behind you all the way. Just tell us where the party is. It's at Mia's parents' house in Australia. Was that a joke? <laughs> Comes a hilarious comedy. We meet at last. So, what are the bride and groom going to be doing on their final night of freedom? We're going to get wanker. <laughs> The Hangover. Just checking if you needed any clean towels. No thanks, Barbara. Thank you. And wedding crashes in one. You're going to have to take care of the best man's speech. Tits. Tits. Olivia Newton-John. Is that cocaine? Well, don't just stand there gawping. Light them up! It's not what it looks like. This one, rinse it now on Fox Till On Demand. It's Wednesday in South Africa, and that means it's Nelson Mandela's birthday. He's 94. In a statement today, President Obama said Mandela's life continues to be a beacon for people of all backgrounds who strive for dignity, justice, and freedom. Mark Phillips joined the celebration in South Love Africa. Africa. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News, all around the world, good night.